can't be right. Whew, I'm getting sweaty. Ugh. Here it comes. Good day, mate. Welcome back to Reviewing with Craiger. On today's episode, we're going to be reviewing a bidet. And Craig, just stay still and face me. Oh, sorry. I've had this shirt for eight years. I don't think I've worn it once. That's why it's a little tight on my gut and man tits. We bought this off Costco. I think it was on sale. I can't remember what it was. It was around I, was 200? It 200 and something. Yeah, 220 on sale, I think, or something. But the reason we got this one is it's got a heated it heats the water up, so you press a button when you're almost finished, and it'll heat the water up so you're not getting really cold water, and we get really cold water here in Canada, so. As to how we're going to review and test this, uh, I'm not quite sure yet, but we'll get to that when we get to that. I don't want this to be a really shitty episode. Okay, so what do we have here? That is the water feed. I'm gonna need that later. That's a bag of parts. Nuts. Yeah, that must, oh, that's what you connect to the toilet with. The seating bolts, I guess you would call it. There's our cable. I think that's just a spacer. So we'll take those out. And then we've got... The manual, which is useless to males. Uh, and then the whole seat itself. So it looks like it's all in one piece, basically. You just have to mount it to the uh, toilet bowl. That seems awfully small opening. It does seem kind of small, doesn't it? Hmm. Like okay. the back takes up a lot of space, It eh? does, yeah. Oh, so let me just take this out. I just want to see if there's anything else in here. I don't think there is. Oh, what's this? That's the T-valve, which we'll need. I think that's it. How long is this cable? That's not going to reach out no. plug. We actually have a really small bathroom we're going to be putting this in but that still won't reach. So we'll have to get a properly rated extension for that. It won't have to be too long though. So I guess, yeah, we'll uh, take this upstairs into the bathroom, take the old seat off, put this one on and see how it goes. Okay, we're in the small bathroom here. We're gonna install this. We thought this opening was a bit small, but when you compare it to what we've currently got, it's fairly similar. Let me just put this over top and see. I can't really quite line it up, but I think the holes are almost the same. It might be just a little shorter at the back here because of all the uh, mechanisms. Okay, so residual moisture is normal. That's fine. Don't plug it in while it's upside down. Yeah, because it's got a power lift, I think, on here. Uh, T-valve connects directly, yep. Yeah. Skin contact. There you go. So yeah, you have to be sitting on it for it to work. So that's probably a good safety feature. And you want, this is the key thing here. You want to make sure you're on a GFCI grounded outlet. We have a GFI plug already installed with a breaker built into it, I think. I think it's a breaker. Anyways, you can There's reset it. There's a reset it. button yeah. and stuff here. So you got to make sure you have one of those so it's fully grounded because you're dealing with water and electricity. And yeah, so I'm going to remove the old seat. Then I'll put this on top. We'll see how much it sticks out because it's obviously it's going to be a lot wider, right? So. Mm. Yeah, we'll do that and then... Uh, we may just have to move those toilet roll, the extra toilet rolls maybe, depending on how this back is sticking out. Yeah, but I think with the cable, I'm just going to run it up. If I really wanted to get fancy, I could probably drill a hole in the bottom of this, run it through underneath the cabinet, come up there and into the plug, but I'm not going to do that because we want to sell this house. So just going to run it on the outside, tape it down and then go up to the plug that way. You'll see the cable, but it'll be out of the way. Okay, so I'll take this off. We'll get that ready to go. And yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, we've got uh, the other seat off. Um, and yeah, I'm just looking through the book here, making sure I got everything covered. Uh, first thing you wanna do is turn off your water supply. So I'm gonna do that here. One other thing you're gonna wanna do is... <laughs> we don't sound very organized here. No, we're not, but... <laughs> Um, you probably want a towel or a small bucket. Even if the water's turned off, there's going to be a bit of water, water backflow. Oh, I'm too loud. The wife says. <laughs> it is echoing in here a bit. Yes. So. Okay, so I'm just going to put that kind of around the base. You can tell I've done this before. My previous life as a maintenance man. Worst part, worst job of my life. Absolutely worst job of my life. 
Is this hand tight or do I need the wrench? I think I might need the wrench on this. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's get a little more towel underneath this. Cause... Oh. Hmm? Before you do that. Oh my God. Are we gonna have a flood? We were about to, because I didn't do that first. All that water would have started coming out. Oh my God. Oh. That's okay, because it's not in here anymore. Oh yes, because it didn't fully fill out there. Oh, there's still a lot of water in there, hang on. You might have to do this too. Let me get the T-valve out. So that's good to go. So I think that goes into the bottom of the tank. Just what I unscrewed there. Your main goes into this. And then this goes off to the toilet seat. So let's take this off because we're going to need it off anyway. It's okay. It's only that much water. so And maybe don't use a white towel for this. It's just we had one sitting there. And it's old. Okay, get a bit of that water out. Oh. I did not mean to do that, but it's staying in the video. <laughs> and I thoroughly cleaned this toilet before, so. Okay, so we'll put that guy in there. And then this needs to connect under here again. My hands are all wet. Just make sure we're good here. Okay, I think we're okay there. Whew, I'm getting sweaty. It's warm in here. I'm gonna turn the fan on. Okay. I'm just gonna set that there for now. Ugh. Install mounting plate for standard installation. So I think this bracket has to go on there. Let me get these all out. Take that off for now. So that's got an arrow to the front. Rubber on the bottom, I'm guessing we're gonna do that. So you basically mount that whole thing first. Okay. All right, so because we have the square there, I'm pretty sure that goes in this direction. No, I'm not sure. Let me check again. No, it's not. Oh, you mean instead of coming up? I think oh. I need to do that. Oh yeah, because it wouldn't be flush otherwise. No. There we go. Okay, don't want to get it too tight because we want to make, want to make sure we get this lined up right. Move the GoPro, I don't know if it can see this or not. <coughs> These things are so friggin' long. No, I'm getting a shot of the back of your head. Oh, see my bald spot. Okay, I think that's, I'm not gonna go any tighter than that for now. Oh my God. See, if you were holding the camera, you could be doing the whole manual thing for me, which is usually how we do it. Okay, so I need to connect the hose to the seat before we mount it. There we go. So this isn't overly heavy. I mean, it's mostly plastic. Um, I think it's all plastic, to be honest with you. Maybe a couple bits of metal in there, but it's actually fairly light for how bulky it seems to be. One other thing you might want to do when you're hooking all this up is use Teflon tape on your, uh, where you're connecting, especially if you're doing plumbing, but I'm gonna try without and see if it works. Okay, so that's hitting the tank. So that means I probably got to bring these forward a bit. Oh, okay, so you can just slide that yeah. up wherever. Yeah, and that's why I didn't tighten it. So let's come to there maybe. I don't think I quite get that part. Oh, there's an installation video. 
Maybe I should have went to that first. I don't see what it connects to. Like there's, so that'll go into the back part somehow, but. Maybe you still need to move that forward a bit? I don't know, what's well, crooked for one. So let me do, do that for now. I don't understand how that connects. I mean, it shows the picture here, but it doesn't really show how it's connecting. Does it just kind of sit on, they can't sit on there loose. No, because if you sit on it, it's yeah. on a good tip. Okay, Greg, I think you yeah, should gonna, watch the I gotta look up, this, the pictures here don't help at all. Okay, so we'll come back in a bit when I know what to do and we'll go from there. Can you turn it off? <laughs> a little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, well, I looked up the video. What I was doing is right, so uh, let me try this again. There are some clips in there, kind of, but they don't, like there's no clicking noise. I just don't oh. think we, oh. See, it's not moving forward now, so I think we're okay. okay. That side looks like it's more forward than this side. Yeah. If you look at the space. To I think that's more even now, just you nudging right it there. a little bit. Let me just tighten this a bit more. Straight? Uh, I would bring that one a little bit for Yeah, that looks a bit oh, better. There. So there's little notches. There's something back here that I think, I don't know if it clips in there, but these little notches here are kind of going to the front part, so. Do they, does it slide in or do you just put it on? I think you slide it from the video. Uh, okay, I'm gonna bring this all the way forward and see if that helps. I don't think it will. How's that? I think so. Looking up a video, the wife got it installed. Oh, obviously, she should have been doing this video the whole time. It's supposed to slide back straight and then click. I was not getting a click. I didn't get a click, but I just put it on there and then just slid it back gently. I think it probably needs to go back a little bit further because you can see a bit of the plate at the back there. Well, it looks kind of crooked on here. Doesn't I think it? it's just that if it's crooked, it's that it, plate. It looks twisted, yeah. I think that plate's just a pain in the butt. Literally. Okay, I'm gonna take this off again. See, it's all the way forward, or back, or whatever you wanna say. I just tighten these. Okay, let's try it there. You got one of your hairs in here. It's not a public hair, it's just a head hair. <laughs> a public hair? You pubic mean hair. pubic, yes. Okay, so if you're doing this, there's a screw hole here. Line that up with the arrow. When you're looking down like this, come on. You can feel it on there. And I think that's just moving the bracket now. That's as far as it seems to want to go, so. So let me get an extension cord and we'll try this out. So I'll be back in just a bit. So I don't have a proper extension cord, but I do have a grounded uh, power bar. So I'm gonna use that for now. And we'll get this wired up a little better in the future. Let's see what happens. Was this something you gotta check before you plug it in? Oh. So we've got power, there's a blue light there. Where's the button to lift the seat? Is it the automatic seat? Maybe it only closes automatically. Ooh, look at the blue light in there. Did you have the water turned on? No. So yeah, let's do that. There we go. There we go. Now, before you crank this thing fully on, don't move your blanket, but just do a little bit of time and just see if you're getting any leaks anywhere. Make 
make sure you check where it's connected here. Dry. Everything seems to be dry. So now the tank's filling, right? Yeah. Just checking as I go. Everything seems to be dry still. I can actually feel it flowing in there. There's a reservoir built in the bottom of this. That's where the heaters are. Let's plug in again. Once you're on the seat, it'll automatically do a bunch of functions. So it'll give you an audible beep letting you know the seat sensor's been engaged. Well, I'm not going to do that. The water pressure indicator lights will come on, displaying the current setting. So when I sit, it sh should show this. And adjust your water temperature. There's a dryer on here as well. I guess we could try that out, right? So night lights on, you can turn that off. Eco mode, there's one, it shows the power. Just wanna see if that brings it up. Yeah, there you go. So it shows we're three out of five for our water pressure and dry temp. You can do a massage, you got an auto mode. That's upside down on that view there. Yeah. But. Oh, you can sma massage your ass cheeks. You got a front and a rear wash. Uh, I guess that's about it. I don't know, it's just sounding disgusting quick. I'm gonna go high on the water temp. Oh, you can, the seat's temp uh, as well. You can heat up the seat. So I'll leave that on low. Yeah. Sensor's more near the front. Creak! Here it comes. It's a bit of pressure. Remember, it's on three of five, so. And that much? Well, until you're done, right? I think it only goes a few seconds, 30 seconds, and then stops. 30 seconds? I don't know if it times out. OK, it's let's go to the massage. So the you, massage goes faster. You who has going to get a water massage? What did you just do? I turned it off. Stopped it. Oh. Oh, so that gets out some of the excess water. Oh, you can move the nozzle in and out if you need. The cleaning probably? Yeah. Before we uh, get to the end here, I'm just going to show you what the dry function does. I just tried it out. So you hit this button. Once it's uh, ready to go, there's this little flap here that kind of goes up and then it just blows some warm air. See, so the flap lift up. And I can feel that back on my arm here in my leg, but just barely, so. Here, why don't I'll have to reset it again here, hang on. There we go. You can see it blow the tissue around. And yeah, it's warm air, so it heats up the air too, which is kind of neat. Uh, you know what, we're just going to use this and try it out and then we'll film another video in a week or so and just kind of let you know what we think about this. That's installed. The wife had to do the hard part like normal. But yeah, we'll get that seat installed and mounted properly because it's not quite right yet. yet. Then we'll try it out and yeah, report back in a week and see what it is, uh, what it's like. I'm hoping we like it, but I've never used a bidet before. The only time I've ever actually seen one I think is when we were in Rome in 2017. So. And you didn't use it then? No. We'll try that out over the next week and yeah, report back and see how it goes. So uh, we'll cut to that in a second. Hey, you're not supposed to be sneaking in here. <laughs> well, we've been using the bidet for probably a good month now. I know we said a week in the video, but we've been using it for a month. Has it been longer than that? Probably. I don't know, time flies by nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> we are very happy with the bidet. Um, we got it mounted properly. Um, it Thanks hasn't to moved. me. Yes. It hasn't moved. It's worked really well. I figured out how to use it. There's a little bit of a learning curve to it. If you've ever gone to a county fair or uh, an amusement park Where or wherever they have going? those games. What's that? Where is this going? A county fair to use a bidet? Well. Have you ever been where you shoot the water gun into the clown's mouth and it makes the balloon go up? Uh -huh. This is similar to that. 
but your your underside is the clown's <laughs> mouth. So you kind of got to figure out where it's going to go and or you got to get used to where it's going to go and you kind of got to make sure it's going to the right spot or you might get uh, a little bit of spray. <laughs> we are, are not using the dryer though. Um, yeah, we don't find that like does a whole lot, right? Yeah, um, it does blow warm air, but it's a little too damp back there for, for the air to, to really make a difference. So use some toilet paper and dab and dry it and that's all we have to do. But we are using quite a bit less toilet paper, which is sort of the purpose of it. I know for a number two, it does clean the batute yes. quite well. Yep. So uh, it's just the drying yep. part for me. So we haven't been using the seat warmer. Um, don't use the blue light. We have a night light right here. so. Uh, don't need to worry about that at night. It is a nice feature to have, but we haven't been using it. I think I looked at the, um, like there was a set group of things. Remember there's a couple of set things where it does everything? Oh, there's an, yeah, there's an auto mode. Yes, that's um, it. I haven't used that, so I don't know exactly what it does, um, but I'll put that right up here on the screen. So when you hit auto mode, this is what it'll do by default. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this bidet. That's the Brondell Swash SE400, I believe. And uh, yeah, we got it on sale, but um, I think it's definitely worth it at full price. Um, if you've never used a bidet before, just remember there's gonna be a bit of a learning curve, but uh, yeah, would definitely recommend this. Uh, this gets, if I had to score that out of 10, I'd probably give it an eight, just because the drying function doesn't really work for us that well. And uh, I don't know, maybe I've got to shave my butt a bit more for it to work. It's <laughs> George in there scratching. The George! Let's go see what he's doing. <laughs> what were you doing? George was mad because he wasn't being filmed. George wants to be in the video. Don't you? Yeah? Are you happy with the bidet? <laughs> yeah, George likes it too. It's got George's approval. And that is the Brondell Swash SE400 bidet. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Feel free to leave some comments down below. Um, give the video a like if you want. And uh, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe, please. We're trying to <laughs> build the channel. As always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. Take care.